Round one. Fight! Water clock. It's 1977 and water clocks are everywhere and somehow the Ford company takes over and makes a battery powered. I'm here to retrieve the water clock into human history. A water clock is quite an ancient invention and I decided to make my own design which is this. It's kind of like the old versions but there's some differences I kind of mix match everything together as you can see in the top we have some sort of reservoir this is just to keep the water in the system this will go through a valve that we can regulate to uh, make the clock tick faster or slower depending and then what I would call the hour container gets filled up until uh, one hour and with a siphon the water will empty out and go to the 12 hour container which has a float and this float with the help of a rack and gear will control the dial uh, that will show us the time. I've made a 3D model just to help me make all of this uh, shenanigan work. So let's start with the support of the clock and then move on to the tiny mini, mini mechanics, baby. Okay, so I'm gonna do the unthinkable and uh, hold the, uh, I'm gonna use a router bit on in a chuck. That's kinda, it's kinda terrible idea, but. Uh, the decal, this machine, the pantograph, uh, has like four millimeter, six millimeter, and eight millimeter collets. And I have these, I don't know, some imperial size for routers. Yeah. All routers are in imperials for some reason. And not all, but some, most of them.
I'm an organized person. So, I'm not an organized person. But for real, this, my project seems to get really big lately and uh, it's pretty hard to keep track of them and get hold of myself. <laughs> so I'm excited to talk about today's sponsor, Milanote, which is a tool for organizing your creative projects. By the way, I'm not a native English speaker, so I always in my head call it Milanote. Milanote helps lay out your ideas and projects in a visual way. Just drag and drop your links, notes, images, sketches, and my personal favorite, just sketch all over the place however you feel like. Uh, you know, I need a little bit of my uh, chaoticness in my organizational Milanote. Milanote is incredibly intuitive, uh, and in mere seconds you create a board that uh, your heart desires, find your inner designer, uh, <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. Milanote. I don't know why, but I thought this water clock project would be simple or simpler, but it turned out to be very n not that. So I simply copied all my plans, uh, images for inspiration, parts list, everything is organized in one place. I can go over it and easily check the progress of what I'm doing. And when the board gets too crowded because you want to cramp in as much things as you desire, uh, you can simply divide it into a sub board and place everything there. Easy peasy lemon squeeze. Milanote. Now if you struggle to find your inner designer, just use over 100 of built-in templates to get your project started even quicker. Milanote. Here and there I'm trying to ask my friends for advice and some thoughts about what I'm doing and uh, usually they have no idea what I'm on about. So Milanot makes it very easy to share and invite people to edit or simply review the projects and boards you've created. Milanot. Milanot is available for free with no time limits, so simply sign up for a free Milanot account in the description below. Thanks to Milanot for sponsoring this video, uh, and let's get back to the video shenanigan. Let's do the face, let's do the face of the clock. It's very ugly right now, but uh, we're gonna fix this. We, we, we're gonna fix this. <laughs>
Gonna let your head go. That is Ah. I need to keep it. Good. Okay. Good, that looks pretty good. Uh, we Any leakage? Okay. Yes! Good job! I think I know what's the problem. So the siphon doesn't work after the first time. As you can see, I put some more water and it immediately goes. So yeah, the problem is that the surface tension pro uh, prevents the water from coming back into the tube. So the water always stays up here, I think. I think that's the problem. <sighs> version uh, two kind of, uh, version 1.2. I kind of fixed a bunch of stuff. As you can see, the tube here is bigger. I also made the rack out of mostly wood because the brass was way too heavy and it just didn't float. So now it's from wood with a little bit of brass uh, a kind of gear rack thing. So that. Right. Uh. All right, here we go. <laughs> uh, uh, we're putting, we're pumping way too much water into the system. Uh, I've expected that, and so I've made a aluminum block. Let's see here. That should be.
So my friends, conclusions. The clock works and uh, actually better than I expected. I thought it would be a disaster, but it does work. I would say that there needs to be a finer way to regulate the dropping of the, the water, the water droplets. Here I've set it up a timer to see if I can get as close as possible to five minutes. And it seems reasonable enough with a little bit of tweaking, we can get pretty close, I would say. Proof of concept, actually, not too bad, not too bad at all. I'm quite happy with this. Um, it's, I mean, everything is a little bit slanted because I miscalculated the amount of uh, um, strength this structure needs to have. I am not sure. Thank you very much, Patreons. I love you guys. Um, see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this. Salute. I don't push.